Does your permanent hair colour go warm as it fades? Do you find it frustrating? Well, whether you're a hair professional like me or you colour your own hair at home, I'm here to tell you why. Hello and welcome to the world of Craig. Yes, that's me, I'm Craig, and this is my channel where we get into all things hair and sometimes a little bit of beauty. Happy New Year. Oh yes, it is 2025 now, wishing you all a very happy, prosperous and fun-filled new year. But in this video, we're gonna in this video, we're gonna get into why hair colour goes warm. Goodness me, there's a lot of hate for warmth in permanent hair colour out there. I get questions all the time from both hairdressers, hair professionals like myself, 37 years experience, or from people that do their own hair at home. Hello, to, if that's you. And this video is gonna answer that question as to why hair colour goes warm, because it's a science thing, and I find it quite fascinating, so I thought I would share it with all of you. Very briefly, before we get into that, just to mention that if you are new here, or if you've been here for a while, please don't reach out in the comments for specific formulas for your hair because I can't see you. And I am saying that now in lots of videos because it is happening a lot. And there's so much to a specific formula. I love all your comments, I love all your questions, I get back to all of them. Uh, it's so fantastic that we're building a community here on my channel, but I can't give you, I can sort of, I can help you in that I can push you in the right direction, but I can't give you a specific formula or tell you what home colour to buy. Okay, now that's done, let's do this. Now we need to start off with this, and this is a very simple fact. The pigment in everybody's hair is different. Just like all of our eyes are unique, everyone's hair colour is unique. I know, it's kind of mind-blowing. <laughs> yes, it is, but we are all unique human beings. That means that no two people are going to get the same result. That means that when someone's hair colour doesn't fade to be that warm, permanent hair colour, somebody else's permanent hair colour might fade to be warm. There are other factors which we'll get into a bit later on in the video, but now, just now I've got that out of the way, just remember, everyone's hair colour is different. So if a friend of yours, you know, uses a formula on, a, on one of their clients and you use it and you get a different result, that is very likely, and if you're doing your own hair at home, and perhaps your daughter, or you know, that your son colours their hair with, with a box dye, and then you use the same product, the chances are the results will be different. The end. Let's have that science. I love the science of permanent hair colour. Now, if you colour your own hair, or you colour other people's hair, you will know that permanent hair colour has two elements piece. The first one of those elements is the dye itself. It can be in a liquid, a cream, a gel, <clears throat> excuse me, but that is one of the elements. That element of hair colour contains dye precursors. So that's the dye molecule itself. Then you have the catalyst, the peroxide, the other part, that's the one, the other part of that system that makes the dye precursors go into the hair. How? So this is the cool bit. When you mix the hydrogen peroxide, okay, the oxidant, into the dye stuff, the dye molecules, those dye precursors, the cuticle of the hair, inserts diagram here, the cuticle of the hair, which is the outside layer, doesn't open and close like a door, but the cuticle swells and lifts because the, hy the hydrogen peroxide is making it open up slightly. I use that word very generally because the cuticles don't open and close like a lot of people will tell you that they do, but they swell. Then those dye molecules, which are quite small at the time, the dye precursors, they get into the hair through the cuticle. They go into the cortex of the hair, okay? And they check, they swap out, if you like, the dye molecules, the melanin in the hair through the hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide lifts the underlying levels of the hair. Even if you're using a darker colour, there is often an exchange of energy that means that there is some lifting that happens. Remember that, it's important. And then those dye molecules are deposited. Those dye precursors get bigger and they're deposited in the cortex. And that 
is how, and then basically when you rinse the colour product out and you condition the hair, even just rinsing the colour out stops the process somewhat, but then rinsing the, the product out and then conditioning the hair, that makes the cuticle become flat again or stops it from being so raised. I, I use words carefully there because cuticles don't open and close like a door. I've said that many times, but I'll say it again. And that is the process of colouring hair. But why does that make hair warm when it fades? So we've talked about the science. And now, if you remember, I mentioned that there is an oxidative process. So that peroxide goes into the hair and it lifts the hair. When you lift hair, you expose warmth. We know and love this chart here on my channel. You expose warmth, even at deeper levels. If you're only taking your hair from a level three to a level five, there will still be warmth exposed because there has been an energy exchange. We also love energy here on my channel. You're changing out those dye molecules that are naturally occurring in your hair, those melanin molecules, you're changing them out for the dye precursor molecule, molecules, which are in the cortex of the hair, but shampooing, heat styling, you know, styling products, all the things, flat ironing, all the things that we do, that's heat styling, Craig, all the things that we do to our, our hair will disrupt those dye molecules that we've replaced our melanin molecules with. And then what happens is you expose the warmth where the hair has been lifted from the energy of the hair colouring process. Cool, that was quite smooth. That's a lot of information to get into a very short space of time. If you colour your hair with a permanent hair colour, the chances are it will always fade to warmth. It's worth mentioning here another couple of other points. Warmth is very reflective. The warmer hair is, the more it reflects the light. So I'm not suggesting that you should go out and colour your hair or your client's hair exactly the same colour as my top. See what I did there? But Warmth is very reflective. I think a lot of people get very obsessed with the warmth in their hair, just like people can get very obsessed with being as blonde as they possibly can. It's also worth mentioning at this point that, the, that if you tone warmth out, there are many videos here on my channel, there is a whole playlist on toning. This video is not about that. This is about permanent hair colour and why your hair goes warm to answer all of your fantastic comments and questions that I've had. But if you tone the warmth out, there are formulas here on my channel as well. If you tone the warmth out, then that coolness is always the first thing to leave the hair and expose warmth. That's a fact. That's hair colour science. It just is what it is. And it's also important to remember here that if your hair or your client's hair is a mixture of grey and then their natural base, there is a lot of chance for there to be warmth. Because if you think about it, the grey hair is effectively lacking in melanin. So when you colour that with a permanent hair colour, you're effectively having a clean canvas, so you're gonna get the result that you were thinking you were gonna get, and it will stay pretty much that color. The color might fade, but it won't get warm because there's no natural underlying melanin. You get it? But the hair that is natural, say they're 50% gray and 50% natural, that 50% natural hair will go warm because it has had an, an exchange of colour pigment from the natural melanin to the dye precursors and therefore you get warmth. So there you go, it's all in one place. A video about why your hair goes warm if you colour it with permanent hair colour. As I've already mentioned, there is an entire toning playlist here on my channel. There is a Shady Q Gloss playlist that has formulas that are great if your hair has gone brassy or you want to get rid of warmth. Those formulas, you can take them and transfer them into any range of hair colour that you use. You don't have to use Shady Q Gloss. You know, there are videos here that are all about home colour as well. As I've already mentioned, I can't give you specific formulas or tell you what box to go and buy. But all of that content is made for you, from me, for free, to help you have the best hair that you can have. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you know exactly what to do. And as I said before, if you have a comment or a question, please leave it. Please go and leave it now because it's great to build a community here on my channel and there's lots. And don't forget, 
this to give me a follow and subscribe and share this video. I've already said that and share this video with your pals. It really helps get my content out there and there's a lot of very exciting stuff coming in 2025. You will take lots of huge thanks for watching this. You will take lots of care and I'll see you all in the next one.